Veal Eric had been out of jail on bond during the attempted robbery. Recently charged with assaulting a family member, the 30-year-old also previously convicted for aggravated robbery with a deadly weapon, a case 10 years ago that resulted in the death of a 62-year-old Houston man. Police Monday meeting with the customer who fired these shots. So far, choosing not to arrest him or charge him with a crime. Thursday morning was the last time he called me. What did he say? He said, Mom, son to mother, I'm trying to be the best person I can be. In an ominous phone call Thursday morning, hours before the robbery at El Ranchito that would end his life, 30-year-old Eric Eugene Washington promised his mother, Corrine Goodman, he would do better. What he did, I don't condone. I don't. He knew better. He never said anything or made me think he would go this route. He started working. He was striving because he said, Mom, when you send someone to penitentiary, it breaks you. In 2015, records show Eric was convicted of aggravated robbery with a deadly weapon and sentenced to 15 years in prison in connection to the shooting death of the business owner, 62-year-old Hamid Warich. He was there. He did not kill their father, but he was there and their father got killed. And that I am sorry for. I never got to say that to them, but I'm sorry for that. Eric served seven years and was released on parole. In December, he was charged with assaulting his common-law wife and later bonded out. He's not the monster people picture him to be. As the case now turns over to a Harris County grand jury, Corinne has one message for the patron who killed Eric. I don't hate him. I can't hate him, but I can. I want to know why didn't you stop? If you had to kill him, I can deal with that. I can come to grips with that. He did something wrong. I understand that. But for him to be shot four times in the back leaving, and when he falls down and he shoots him four more times, he abused him. He was dead already. And that hurt. That hurts. Natalie He, Fox 26 News. I get her grieving. But I think. No, we got to stop saying no, shit like that. No, no we got to stop saying. Let me tell you why. Because parents hold that that they allow their kids to think it's okay and you really didn't do nothing bad and you probably shouldn't deserve that. You should have been disciplined, but not to the extent of what the law is doing to you because you're not a bad person. I know my child not to be a bad person. Pause. I ain't saying something. that now. No, that's that's <laughs> what I'm saying. That's not what I'm saying. When we now. when we say this thing of I can see why he shouldn't have been shot. No, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, outside of all of that, I get because it's her kid. She's crying because he's gone now. That's all and, I get. And that's what I'm saying to you. It's because we be so sympathetic to it's their child when you haven't recognized the traits that your child carry to bring things like this upon themselves. Us as mothers, let me tell you something. And a lot of mothers may not want to be admit to this and they may not want to accept it and they may not want to realize it. You know who your child is. I don't give a fuck. One thing about a mother, whether you accept it or you don't, you you see your child more than anybody. Yeah. You observe your child more than anybody. Yeah. You see traits, you see characteristics, you see behavior, and you see a pattern of behavior with your child. Now, this is the thing that as mothers, we, we tend to be in denial because we want to protect the cub. We create monsters. <laughs> and what? It's a consistent pattern of monsters because we do not hold them accountable. Yeah. We justify because they're our cubs. I agree with that. We justify the behavior in which they present. And if any mother want to get mad with me and say, bitch, you'll do the same thing, this, this, and the third, I'm going to tell you like this now. One thing my kids know, one, when they was born into this world, they already had an obstacle against them. Black men don't take accountability. Black men don't stand up in the shit that they create. But black men say that, that, that black women don't take accountability, so... Well, if black women don't take accountability and you've been raised by a woman that don't take accountability, I can guarantee you you're a black man that don't take accountability. Ooh. Ooh.
that mathematic was dropped to the lowest common denominator. We, we know now today, more black men trying to show up. We're not discounting that. But we know in our era, it just was not like that. Not even that. Because we know black men weren't showing up for their kids. What I'm saying is, accept the position that your mother was placed in by your black father. To make her this miserable, non-accountability having. Mean. Mean misunderstanding aggressive. not knowing how to communicate aggressive having to provide protect love nurture if you want a different narrative from black women be different black men i think what's going on right now is black men are are trying to change but at the same time they're trying to change without noticing or recognizing all the bullshit that they've done in the past and left in the past. They're basically trying to start over with a clean slate without reconciling and without fixing the shit that they have. No real it's kind of like women are recognizing y'all did them dirty for a lot of years and they're waking up to that. They're tired of it and they're moving the hell on. Now, if y'all want to get on board, jump on the train. Because ain't nobody stopping for you. But I'm going to tell you this too. Men only do what you allow. Sound off in the comments and let us know what y'all think. I will see y'all next time.